my Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Capricorn, when I was meditating off camera, I got scales for you, scales. So scales are used to weigh up. I don't know if you're weighing up something. The Two of Pentacles does, it's a card of, you know, for your sign. I don't know if you're weighing up the pros and cons, if you're, you're trying to um, show that something has changed or you're trying to compare or, or contrast something or you're trying to keep everything up. I don't know, weighing it up, scales here. Um, someone could be weighing up the decision too. I don't know. Let's get into it. What is going on for Capricorn? Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. So there could have been a breakup or a breakdown in a relationship or separation. Um, the Seven of Pentacles. There's a lot of time, energy, effort, love, all that stuff invested in this connection, in this relationship, in this marriage, and whatever it was. Somebody had the upper hand or somebody felt like they had the power here. They, they had mastered this connection. But then they're... It's a breakdown, a breakup. Someone felt like, okay, I need to go this way or I'm going to go, you know, and be single again or I'm going to go and do this. Um, I just need to learn, you know, what it's like to be on my own or I need to mature or something of that nature because the Seven of Pentacles talks about maturity too. It talks about return on an investment. So somebody felt like, you know, I thought we were going to, fill in the blank, get married, move in together, buy a cat, dog house. I don't know. Um, and then the other person hit them with, well, I need space or I need maturity. But somebody feels like it's not over or it wasn't over or that they were going to come back with the Seven of Pentacles here. Somebody felt as if, it's like I'm, I'm putting this on hold, but I'm going to be back. Okay? Do know I'm going to be back. Yeah, the page of pentacles. Somebody felt like, okay, I'm going to go over here and do this. And I'm going to manifest this over here and have fun over here and turn up over there and... You know, I just need to learn maturity. I need to grow. I need to be a student of life. I need to be studious in terms of life and what life has to offer me. Somebody went the other way and kept the other person waiting. Mm. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, the moon card. It's like somebody kept someone in the energy of them. Not knowing, not knowing if the relationship was going to come back together. Not knowing if they should. Somebody also kept somebody um, in a dark place. It almost reads as if playing with emotions. I don't know if it really was, but it definitely was an energy of, you know, I don't know what I really want. Somebody was very dreamy. They were very more so about themselves and they had all these dreams for themselves and what they wanted to do. I think they went out in the world and, and, they, and they got what the world had to offer them. You know, school of hard knocks. They got some, some tough... Uh, energy there with the moon card there was also somebody you know somebody was lying to themselves you know lying lying to themselves about how they really felt what they really wanted maybe even lying to the other party in this relationship about okay yeah we're gonna do this and do that yeah queen of swords Somebody cut this relationship off. Or they, yeah, they cut it short. They cut it off. Yeah. With the Queen of Swords, somebody cut this relationship off because maybe they wanted to go somewhere else and do something else. Or somebody was suspicious of someone having another relationship. Somebody spoke their truth. Somebody is a communicator and the other person wasn't. Someone communicated exactly what they wanted and the other person failed to actually deliver. Somebody weighed up the cost of being in this relationship, weighed up something, yeah, the temperance card. Someone said, I'm going to give you time to get your life together or get yourself in order with the temperance card. If that's what you need to do, then go ahead and do that. 
but I know that you're the one or I know that we get along or that there's a lot of chemistry or there's a lot of love or that this could be a very wealthy relationship. Somebody was like, okay, I'm coming back to this because I know that I can have stability, wealth, fortune, be well taken care of, but I don't want it right now. Because this isn't an irrevocable change. It was more so like, I'm just gonna cut this off for now. Somebody was hiding exactly how they really felt with the moon card. There was also another, maybe even another energy here. Let's see. Yeah, the Queen of Cups and the Magician. We got two women here. We got a man showing up. Masculine energy, powerful man. So he has a lot of power in the earth, on the earth. Um, they keep a powerful manifester. They make, or this is somebody that can bring things into fruition, into institution. They can make, if, if they say, I'm going to start my own business, uh, my own tree cutting business. You don't have to cross your fingers and hope that they, this person is gonna do it. This is somebody, they said it, they're gonna do it. This is the type of energy here with the magician. This is somebody who is a powerful manifester. They use everything that they have to bring in the energy that they want. We got two feminine energies here. The Queen of Cups and the Queen of... This is somebody who cut something off because they were really self-centered. They know that they're beautiful, that they're pretty, or that they can get anybody, or they can get what they want, or they can get, you know, um, they can get likes, they can get shares, they can get, some, you know, they can get, you know, guys, or they can get girls, or whatever they're after. This is somebody who was self-centered. They weren't thinking about the whole... What is going on here? It's like... I'm feeling like there's an energy of somebody wanting to come back. We had scales, it, cause somebody could be weighing up if they're gonna allow this person to come back. Another feminine energy, queen of wands with the hierophant. So now we got a lot of gossiping, maybe even cackling, cackling like women gossipy and a lot of circle. Somebody could have been listening to friends also like-minded individuals that say, girl, you better get out there and do you and do this and do that. And maybe somebody did, didn't have wise counsel because the Queen of Swords talks about getting counsel before you make some decision. Somebody didn't have wise counsel about cutting off this relationship. Maybe you listen to their girlfriends or other women. Keep in mind, ladies, single women keep women single. Sorry to tell you. You had a ten of wands. Somebody took something for granted. I can't make this stuff up. Somebody took something or someone for granted. It could be a masculine energy. Tens are masculine. Um, somebody took something for granted. They didn't see what they had before them with the ten of wands, and now they want it back, or they want an opportunity, uh, or they don't know where it's going, or they kind of like shadow walking, walking in the dark. Dark here again. Scales came out. Like somebody's trying to weigh up if they should or if they shouldn't. What's the advice for Capricorn? The Emperor. The Emperor. This is a very stubborn, powerful, unmovable man. Yeah, three of swords. This person could be hurt or still resting in that place of hurt, still resting in heartbreak, isolation. Um, miscommunication going on between someone here. Could be an air sign. Now somebody is feeling like this is an unscrupulous woman. This is a, a this is a woman who will do anything to get the bag or to to secure the bag or secure the man or secure a future. I don't feel like he felt this way about this woman before. Yep. It was before, because that queen and king of pentacles. So it was a relationship, and then something happened here. Now it's iffy, because the magician and the high priestess are a couple, but they're in the 5D, so that means it hasn't really happened. Again, back to scale, somebody's weighing it up. Should I even allow this person to come back now? We used to be in a relationship. I used to trust them, but I don't trust it now. 
either this is you Capricorn or somebody else. Yeah, somebody's like, I'm not sure if this person is ready because they're coming up as a Knight of Pentacles. The Knights are still under the direction of the higher fence, so they're still learning. What do we have here for Capricorn? What do we have here for Capricorn? The mirror, yep, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect out, reflect our wounds, introspection, could make it up if I wanted to. So somebody's in the energy of introspection, like weighing it up, scales here, reflecting, like, should I, should I not? I don't know if I trust this, I don't know if I should, blah, 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 they're just all over the place. Just, just not a trust, it's because they feel like somebody is out for, now they're, it's a different agenda, different motive here, questioning someone's motives. Do we have the five of swords come out? No. Yeah, but, um, Somebody could be questioning someone's motives because they doesn't they don't take care of responsibilities, children's bills, or expenses, household tasks. So somebody could just be looking at someone in a different light. Like you don't take care of things that you should be responsible for. I don't know if I want to be a part of that. Somebody could be in the energy of saying, You deserve so much more than I'm giving. I'm sorry. Somebody could be coming out of you know negative spending habits. So, I don't know here, uh, Capricorn, you have to make up your mind in regards to what you should do, how you should do it, if you should even um, take this person back. It seems like they're in a real tough spot, or you're in a tough spot here. And this is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you. Are you going to take this person back, or will this person take you back? Let me know where you are on the spectrum. Are you wanting someone to take you back or is someone wanting you to take them back? Um, do you trust them? Let me know down in the comment section. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Keep in mind that readings are 50% off. Use code 50OFF at checkout. Uh, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.